Hey everyone, Sean here of the Detroit Diz, and it's another great day in the D. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, just go ahead and mash that subscribe button, shall you? That way you get to know when we go live and when we upload new videos. And we really appreciate all our returning subscribers. We really appreciate you every single day. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and jump into the topic at hand. That's right. Let's get into the meat and the potatoes of the topic of today. So, you know, uh, as you see in the thumbnail, we have Jocko, who is a Navy SEAL commander. And, uh, he, you know, basically... Um, He's one of these guys that Casey Neistat has had on his uh, channel talking to him about a book that he wrote about getting up uh, oh dark 100 hours in the, in the morning. That's about, you know, 4.30, 5 o'clock for all those people who aren't uh, with the military terms uh, oh dark 100. It's something from like uh, Good Morning v um, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam! It's not a test. It's Viva. Anyway, anyways, anyhow. <laughs> I love that movie. That's one of my very favorite movies of all time. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. So, anyhow, I'm digressing here. Jocko talks about, you know, having to fight the battle to get up early in the morning. And a couple of weeks, about a week or so ago, I made a video about how I'm going to try to, you know, get up earlier in the morning so that I can do some things before the day starts. And I'm still kind of working on that, trying to get up in the morning. It is a battle. Look, I'm the person who sets six alarms to get up uh, at the same time. That way I do get up. And it really shouldn't be like that. But sometimes some people just sleep harder than others. And it's hard for them to, for the alarm clock to wake them up. You know what I'm saying? So, but this, this is talk, today I want to talk about laziness that's number one procrastination and number two and being distracted because all three things can happen to you now let's just talk about uh, the very first one being distracted it's very easy to get distracted from your goals my goals i get distracted all of the time look i'm like a squirrel hunting i don't have adhd uh, i don't never have been diagnosed for that and uh, you know even adults can have adhd believe it or not so i have not been i do not know if I have ADHD, but all I know is that I like to be involved and do different things. And sometimes I multitask and I can do two things at once and I'm very good at it. But sometimes, you know, um, I just feel like I, I want to accomplish a lot of things during the day. And that requires that I'm multitasking, doing multiple things at the same time. And it may seem that I'm not concentrating on both things or giving my 100% on both things. And it's easy to get distracted also by just things in life. Uh, you know, your, your goal should be, you know, you're trying to be focused and you're trying to get things accomplished. And then all of a sudden something happens on social media or something happens in the world and you get distracted and then you never forget. Because sometimes when you're older, you forget, or even you forget as a normal person when you're younger, people just forget just overall. Uh, and then they, they don't go back and get focused and laser focused and accomplish what they were trying to do because they got distracted. So that happens all of the time around here for me. And sometimes I have to you know, write something down and go, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish that, that project or whatever it is that I was going to be doing. So that's number one. Then also procrastination. That happens all the time to me. Uh, I'm, I say, I'm going to do, go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I know all the people, a lot of people have excuses or they have procrastination. They, they just want to put it off or they want to wait, wait for the exact, uh, the, the, you know, when the time will be perfect. Right. But here, procrastination happens even when I want to just gather all the gear or, or I want to get everything all together before I start. And, and then you just keep on pushing that off and off and off and nothing ever happens. Maybe you get distracted while you're trying to get everything all together. And then you're like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? So procrastination is something that happens to us all. And it also takes away from us meeting those goals and uh, getting there uh, to the end and finishing things. Number three is lazy. Look, you know, uh, sometimes you just feel like you just need a break or you're tired. You know, you, you feel like you're just going to be like a lazy river day or something like that. 
it's just something that happens. You, you, you feel like uh, maybe you're tired, you, you don't have the energy. Uh, you, it's not that you're really lazy per se, but it's like you're just having a lazy day, sort of, you know. And laziness sometimes, it will always lead to you not accomplishing your goals. So what I mean by this is just don't be lazy and sit around and not do anything because you're procrastinating or is that you're, you get so distracted that you forget to regroup and get back to whatever you were doing. Don't be lazy about that. You got to find some type of spark or motivational something or other to get you back going or continue to going throughout your day or to get your project done. That's what I'm saying. The motivation. And I remember, and Jocko, I'm going to tell you right now, he reminds me of that drill sergeant I, I had when I was in the military. You know, you had the military drill sergeant yelling at you, come on, get it done. You know, or you have, you know, I had a sergeant one time, he would tell me, just go ahead and just do it, you know. Um, just kind of like, you know, why procrastinate? Just do it. So, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a, there was three things, I think, in summarization are things that I'm going to be working on. You should, we, you could work on them at the, at, at, you know, your, for yourself and make sure that you reach the end of your projects. One of the things that I'm trying to do now is upload more videos, of course, uh, and also make sure that the content is good and also uh, great things. But also make sure that uh, that you make make sure that uh, I'm working towards my goals. Uh, to make more content, and also thumbnails that are really great. So that's another thing I've been doing. I hope that you like the thumbnail to this video, and also the thumbnails that I've been putting out for the last five or six videos. I've been working on them, and uh, uh, a, I'm using Canva, which is a online development, uh, developmental tool that you can use to make thumbnails. It's really great. You can, uh, and then it has some additional features, paid features that are really superb. It's a really great website for graphic design. I really uh, think that it's probably the best website for graphic design around, if not one of the only. Anyhow, so another way to get, or you know, organization is really important, especially when you're trying to work toward your, your focusing of your goals and that way you're not distracted. But also, you know, I just bought it and this is something that I'm gonna be carrying around with me from uh, for a long time now is one of these. And this is, uh, this is a uh, holder or a notebook cover uh, for what is called field notes. Now you can go on Amazon and buy one of these. It's uh, field notes right here. And I, I you know, I just, it, this holder particularly has three uh, places for uh, pens and pencils or whatever that whatever you're going to use to write your stuff down with I do have another one I bought not too long ago and uh, lo you know a long time ago and other I, I have more than just field notes I use also moleskin which is right here this is moleskin and this is uh, this is also another field notes thing so uh, I'm going to be carrying this uh, this around with me because I also have you know I have a regular binder binder of Franklin planner and this is this is it right here and it comes in this little uh this is the uh the, the small version the mini uh the mini uh, the i the, uh, the very small tiny version of the to put it in pro, uh some comparison here here's my field notes and here's my my Franklin Covey planner but you know, if you just want to jot things down and then you could transfer them to your planner or vice versa, you can do that like that. I've heard of people that are using the or the field notes and turning it into a dot, um, like a bullet journal. That's pretty cool. So you have to be organized somehow in some way and write things down so you don't forget. And that way that you don't, uh, you know, even while you're getting distracted or your procrastination or your whatever you're doing, being a ninja watcher on YouTube, or, uh, on YouTube, you can write things down and then come back to them and remember them and have them like a little checklist. And that's another great thing to do. So that's how I kind of stay organized and try to stay focused. But uh, yeah, and I have to stay motivated. So uh, motivation to me is going to have to come from, uh, you know, the inside that I, I see, uh, you know, that I'm doing this for myself. You have to want to do things for yourself first. Before somebody, before you're going to do something for, you know, for somebody else, because you want to, you know, you should, you, you mean, you should not be selfish, but because, you know, that's not a great trait to be selfish at all. 
but you should take care of yourself first and also be able to take care of somebody else. Those are two great uh, traits to have. And I think that's what uh, makes a great person is that you can you you are definitely taking care of yourself and also taking care of somebody else uh, is a great thing and it makes for a great family. Anyhow, so well, that's enough for tonight. And I thought that I would make this video about procrastination and try to beating it. Uh, I think everybody should work on trying to beat procrastination. It could really uh, take your you know take your uh, your goals and kind of uh, smush them really badly and then also distractions you have to make sure that you're not uh, going down the rabbit hole on social media or some other type of uh, crazy debate or conspiracy or whatever whatever it is in life that's taking you down that rabbit hole and taking you away from what your goals are uh, in life so whether it be uh, eating right or exercising or just you know making sure your mental health is being taken care of don't get distracted for any of your goals. You can accomplish them. You can do anything that your mind puts your mind to. Anyways, good talking to you today. Anyways, talk to you guys later another time. For now, we're over and out.